What is up guys and welcome back to episode number 10 now of the My Player series here on YouTube. We're obviously at Hull City as a forward at the moment. I can confirm as well in what you are reading in the title about us making our England debut during this episode is in fact correct. At some point in the episode you'll be seeing me make my England debut. Now, this is extremely weird considering the fact that we haven't played a single minute of Premier League football yet in our career and yet we have been called up to the England national side. If that is the quality of players that England are attracting, or rather that England have uh, the ability to be able to field, especially when you look at the fact that they've got Rashford, they've got so many better forwards, in my opinion, than what we are currently, and yet we are the one to get the call-up. It's absolutely... I just can't put, get my head around the why we've been called up to the England side. You'll see the call-up uh, message in a second. You can see, though, we're actually not even part of the Hull City side. We're sat on the bench, or not even on the bench, actually. We're not even on the bench for any of these games. As you can see... Basically, we're having to sim the first few games of the season, and you can see the results as they come. It sped up as well to give you guys the quickest possible route of not having to watch and basically me just sat here simming games and showing results and stuff like that. So I say I basically sped it up and made it a little bit quicker for you guys. You can see what we're doing as well, training-wise and other stuff to do with that. So we're actually almost, I do believe, a 79 overall striker. So I can sort of see why we're in the England setup, but to be called up and actually play for England is a completely different thing. I wasn't expecting. To have a call up this early on and only into season two as well. We're yet to play a Premier League game, as I've said, and yet we are in the England national team, which is just absolutely crazy. It's just stupid. You can see there we're playing an EFL Cup game. I thought we would be called up for this, but we didn't actually even get a call up for the Cup game. So I'm hoping the England game will swing our fortunes around and give us a call up to this Hull City side. If he sees us playing for England, then maybe Mike Field will give us a chance here at Hull. Who knows? But we are playing for England. You'll see the message coming up on your screen in a second. You can see there. Players leaving on international duty, and we were in there. And then we got the message officially from England saying that we were in for the two games against Switzerland. And I think the other game, uh, was it Sweden? I think the other game was. Um, we only obviously get to play in one of them. If you've ever done a player series, you'll know that when you get called up to the England national side or whatever national side you are doing, you actually only get to play in one of the, uh, the two games, or rather that's how I've experienced it. I don't know if it's ever happened differently for you guys. However, when I've been called up to the England national squad, whenever I've been able to do a my player hit career, or I've not done one on YouTube, but when I've played it offline and stuff, um, I've only been able to play one of the two games when we call up, called up to the national team. So you can see there... Haven't played a single match. There you go. We're a player form good, but we've play, played zero games here at Hull City. Yet we are in the English national side, which I suppose, if you look at it that way, for me, I'm very happy. But at the same time, if I was other players and stuff, if this was real football and we were actually called up to the English national side without playing a game, and yet there was people like Rashford and other people like that who are playing week in, week out for their clubs and not getting the call up, I would be absolutely fuming if it was me. You can see the first game here. Sweden took on England in the first qualifier. It's not even a friendly either. It's an actual qualifier. It's a competitive game. These games matters and yet we are called up for them. They drew this one by two at goals apiece there. You can see who scored and who didn't. But then it was our time to get our England debut and what a moment this was taking on Switzerland here at the Walt Stadion. It was going to be interesting to see if we could get ourselves on the score sheet because I tell you what, if we could get our debut and score a goal in our debut, I would be absolutely over the moon with that one. You can see the two sides coming out in just second as well. The bit I like about this as well, it adds a little bit of real reality to the game because it changes the commentators as well when you go into this. You can see England are yet to lose a game in this uh, qualifying stage. If they uh, draw this game against Switzerland here, they qualify as champions of the group. So my only job for this game was to make sure we didn't lose. If I'd have lost the first game that was part of the England setup, I'd have been pretty annoyed. To be honest with you guys, Switzerland do have a very good team here. And I was very, very, uh, well, I, w I wasn't expecting them to be as good as they were. Like, their team in on paper is a very good side. You know, they have Xhaka, Shaqiri, Dermic as well up front. They have, uh, who is the goalkeeper? I can't remember his name. Is it uh, Jan Sommer? I think his name's Sommer. But they have a solid side here at Switzerland. This was going to be a no easy feat for my debut in an England shirt. And I was looking at this thinking, if we get a goal, I'll be happy. But I just want to sort of go into it and just play well at least. Just at least play at a 7 match rating, if I can get a 7 match rating and at least do something in the game, whether it be create a chance or get a chance for myself, I'll be happy with it. You can see the players that are named, there's a number of big names in there, Deli Ali, uh, Theo Walcott, Jack Wilshire. there was us wearing the number 9 shirt as well for England, we are wearing number 14 for Hull City, but we were given the number 9 shirt there for ourselves on our debut. You can see we're actually the second to last player, uh, obviously we've got Walcott on one side of us, Sterling on the other as the players that went to shake hands and I can't tell you how excited I was 
for my England debut here. Even though we haven't played a game of football, like I mentioned, um, I was going into this not feeling confident, but just the fact of being able to play here for England made me a very, very happy man. You can see me shaking the hands with some of the other players, and maybe as well, this might stem me to be able to get some football at Hull City. And if it doesn't, if a team sees us playing here for England, we may get a transfer away. You can see the uh, Switzerland side on your screen now. The uh, side's that good that they couldn't actually play Briel and Bolo in the side. I would have actually put him ahead of Dermich if it was me. But obviously, it's uh, completely uh, to the manager's choice. And you can see that was the side that he named to play England in this one. So if uh, Switzerland won the game, they would qualify as champions. However, if England won the game, or even drew the game, we would qualify as champions at the group as well. So all we had to do here was draw the game. It's as simple as that. And you can see the England side of the setup that we are part of there. Very good side to make my debut in. I was very, very happy as well going into this because I knew for a fact that I would get some chances in this game. It was a top quality team. And all I was waiting for was that one killer pass that would set me off into a chance. And the first chance of the game did fall the England side's way as I managed to get the ball here, get a free kick for basically nothing. He also gets a yellow card for this one. I felt very, very harsh because this was not a yellow card in my eyes. I can't quite remember why Johan Jeru got it because I don't think that um, uh, Jeru was the one who made the tackle. But anyways, he was given the yellow card. It might have been for a tackle earlier on in the uh, clip that I didn't show you if it had been a bit of a, of a weird place or whatever where it wasn't really that important. However, Wayne Rooney sends his free kick miles over the bar. And into the 22nd minute of this one, lovely play from me and Raheem Sterling. Getting myself a chance here, but I smash my strike straight at Sommer in the uh, Switzerland net. A very poor effort for me in the end. Looked for the ball down the line here, 30, uh, 32 minutes into this one, as I managed to get a little bit of space down this left-hand side. Couldn't really put a cross into uh, Raheem Sterling, let's face it. He's not really the tallest of players. As Deli Ali on the edge of the area gives it back to me here, as I managed to, uh, manage, well, to get past the defender. Lovely piece of skill to get myself into the area. And with my weaker right foot, I couldn't direct my shot to either corner, and it went straight at Sommer again. And into the 83rd minute of the game now, should have been England 1, Switzerland 0 at this point. A really, really nice uh, turn on the edge of the area again by me. But I could not beat Johan Giroud for the life of me in this game. He had an absolute wonder game, did the uh, Swiss defender, and he kept me, honestly, in his back pocket for the majority of the game. Apart from the chances that I showed you, which were only really half chances. None of them were really that great. But other than that, he kept me in his back pocket. And we actually played at a 7.5 match rating. So I said at the start, I'll take a 7 or above match rate. And you can see what the manager said. We did well. And uh, it's actually Gareth Southgate, the England manager here. You can see what we did badly. I think we got one thumbs down out of the four. So it's not too bad. But it would have been better to get all five in there. You can see as well, with that draw, I think we actually qualified as champions of the group. So... And, you know, in all honesty, even though we didn't win the game and I didn't really get myself a goal or do anything in the game of worthwhile ability, I was uh, sort of happy with that. Because, obviously, we did our job. We got England into the next phases of the World Cup, or rather the knockout phases, which we will be seeing. Hopefully, if I get in the side, we will be seeing it next year or on the next season. Because we're in 2017 now. So, it will be a... Uh, wait, if the World Cup qualifiers... Yeah, it's the Euros with the 2016. So yeah, 2018 World Cup, we may be playing in it. So look for this space. We may be able to play in that if we get lucky and uh, if we are picked for that one. But like I said, because we were picked in the England setup, the uh, the Mike Feelan saw it was like, you know, if he's getting picked for England, he must be good enough to play for Hull City. And that's exactly, finally, we got some first team Premier League football here for ourselves. Hull City sat in 14th place, playing against bottom of the league, Derby County, for God's sake. And if I wasn't picked for this, I'd have been utterly disappointed. We are picked for it, though. And I was looking to get my first Premier League goal, our first competitive goal for Hull City. As we did manage to do it in the preseason tour, we were absolutely dominated that preseason tour. Scored something like, um, I think, five goals in three appearances. And it should have been Derby nil, Hull City won. Ten minutes into this, I wasn't even involved, but a fine goalkeeping save. Um, kept the score at 0-0. And in all honesty, this game was so frustrating to play. A lovely little bit of uh, passing ability here on the edge of the area. We managed to work a chance again, but this time Myler sends his strike wide of the post. And then I end up passing the ball really poorly, in all honesty, back to a Derby defender. Steal the ball back here, and I did not want that play. You can see I didn't actually call for that. I didn't want it played yet. I wanted to carry on with it. Get brought down on the edge of the area. Why my teammates decided to go for a 1-2 there, I have no idea. Because when we actually got fouled on the edge of the area, my other teammate was actually in one-on-one, -on -one and he decided to play out wide so I have no words for that one it should have been and we should have won the game in all honesty we absolutely dominated this one and we deserve to come away with the win but my teammates doing stupid stuff like that ended up making it a nil nil draw but we are coming towards the end of this episode of the my player career mode if you have enjoyed please drop that like button I understand that the series isn't as entertaining to watch as the Legion United career mode that's why I don't upload it as much and uh, it actually alternates with uh, the ultimate team series that I'm doing but fingers crossed you enjoyed this episode and I have been Danny and I'm out adios